best f***ing eggs? That's right, right here on Heather Cooks. Soft-boiled eggs are one of my favorite snacks. They're really easy. If you follow this excellent advice, you'll know how to make them perfectly every time. I have a pot of boiling hot water. You wanna make sure it's, it's up to a strong boil. You wanna make sure it's not so violently boiling that when you put your egg in, it gets tossed around and breaks in the pan. You want it to stay in one piece. I'm gonna make two. As soon as you put them in the boiling water, set a timer for six minutes exactly. As soon as they're finished cooking, after six minutes, we're gonna drop them in an ice bath. So the egg has been boiling for six minutes exactly. I've prepared a cold water bath. We're gonna remove it from the boiling water and place it in the bath. You have to be careful with the water bath. Don't leave it in there too long because what happens is it'll cool down the egg so much and there's nothing as disgusting as eating a cold soft boiled egg. You want it to be warm. So we're just letting it cool off until it's cool enough to handle. And it pretty much is. The best way to peel an egg is to crack it on the, the wider bottom side because you'll find a little air bubble in there and it'll help give you leverage. I knew a story once about someone whose mom would make them a hard boiled egg for lunch and to keep their hands warm in their pocket, they'd have their freshly boiled egg in their pocket as little hand warmers. The soft boiled egg, you can kind of tell it's, it's, it's squishier. You can tell that the inside's gonna be gonna be soft. It's not hard and firm the way a hard boiled egg feels. I'm gonna cut it in half to show you that, that lovely soft yolk. One of my favorite snacks. A little bit of salt. Mmm. Perfect. Mmm. Now you can make a soft boiled egg. I have a pot of boiling water. I'm gonna add an egg. As soon as I gently add the egg to the boiling water, I'm gonna turn off the heat. Then set a timer for 15 minutes, and after 15 minutes, you'll have perfect hard boiled eggs. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make the best soft scrambled eggs you've ever had. This technique ensures that the eggs remain really moist and soft. It just involves cooking at a lower heat and stirring a lot. I'm gonna start by cracking four eggs into a bowl. You always wanna crack your raw eggs into a separate bowl from where you're cooking. This way, if an, if an eggshell gets in, it's a lot easier to fish out than if you've just contaminated your entire dish. So I'm cracking four eggs, and now I'm gonna whisk it together so that it's all uniform. Now, my pan has been heated over low heat. I'm gonna drop two tablespoons of butter into the pan and let it melt to kind of coat the pan. Now keep in mind you want the heat to be really, really low because we're gonna slow cook these eggs. Now the butter is almost melted and we're gonna coat all sides of the pan. Remember the heat is really, really low right now. We don't want anything to burn or get crusty. It's gonna seem undercooked, but that's the point of cooking it longer. Low and slow, keep that in mind with these eggs. Okay, so the butter is melted. So keep in mind, we're gonna stir these constantly. It takes about 15 minutes. I love eggs with salt. They always, you always need to add salt. Now, when it comes to seasoning, you don't want things to taste salty. That, that is not the point of salt. You wanna have enough salt that it enhances the flavor of what you're eating. It'll bring out those flavors. It's not meant to make things taste salty. It's meant to make things taste better. You're gonna want it to be cooked, but really soft and fluffy, as you can see this is, is almost ready. This technique will ensure that it's, it's really moist and not dried out. Take it off the heat before it gets too, too cooked. And a nice, moist, fluffy, soft scramble. We're gonna add two tablespoons of butter to a really hot nonstick pan and add two 
eggs gently to the pan. This is gonna be the perfect sunny side up egg. You wanna baste the top of the eggs with that hot, delicious butter. These eggs look and smell really nice because I've been sort of moving the pan around and getting that butter to, to baste the top of them. So it's cooking them on both sides. They're nice and white all the way around. There's no dark edges. Let's plate it and, and season it a little bit. Here we go. Mmm, look at that beautiful buttery. Some salt. Pepper. And some parsley. And if you had some toast, you could sop up some of that extra butter. Enjoy! I'm gonna start by adding one tablespoon butter to a non-stick skillet. When it's melted, I'm gonna add one cracked egg gently into the pan. And you'll see it's turning white right away. Over easy means a sunny side up egg that's flipped over, but the center is still a little bit soft. It's not gonna be fully hard. You always wanna make sure when you're cooking eggs that the pan isn't too hot because then it'll burn and the, the corners will get really dry and crackly and that's not good. If you don't like eggs really runny, over easy is a great way to do it because you're gonna cook that yolk on both sides. There we go. Put it onto this plate. Give it a little bit of salt. And pepper. Don't forget to subscribe for all kinds of egg recipes.